the July Council meeting saw the return of the parishioner who had been called a dickhead in the open forum of the April Council meeting. He was to ask the chairman as to what had happened regarding his complaint. The chairman, Councillor Savory, was to inform the parishioner that the matter was in the hands of the police and as the police was a higher authority than the parish council, he could not comment further. With no one else wishing to speak in the open forum, Councillor Savory closed the open forum and decided to start the parish council meeting, but with only five minutes of the open forum used, he decided that if anybody came along and wished to speak, they could use that five minutes. The parishioner was to leave and then return and claim the five minutes of talking time remaining. He informed councillors that he had contacted the police and they were not investigating the matter and then presented the chairman with a letter stating that he wanted a public apology from the park keeper. Item 19 at the meeting was business plan for Holbeach. It was suggested that a small committee be formed in order to move the issue forward at each meeting. Councillor Hutchinson reported that she felt that the parish council as an organisation needed to communicate with parishioners properly with regard to what the parish council wanted to achieve and that a clear time frame was required. There was a brief discussion regarding why a business plan was required and noting that the parish council needed to be more accountable and professional. It was generally agreed that councillor contact details would not be available for the public unless members agree which details on an individual basis and sign to agree and that all contact would be via the office. The following Thursday in the press New Era ushered in at Council. Holbridge Parish Council is to press ahead with plans to make itself more visible as it tries to win back public confidence. A new website different venues for council meetings and making members contact details available to the public are some of the changes taking place to improve links with residents. Councillor Isabel Hutchinson, who called for the changes, said they were vital to generate more public interest in what the council does. Councillor Hutchinson added, the resignation spurred me on to rejoin the parish council in May after some time away from it because things needed to change. The public has lost trust and confidence in the council, so we need to be more accountable and make the public aware that we're trying to make a difference and run things more efficiently. The ideas were discussed at a council meeting on Monday, where members unanimously agreed to make their phone numbers available to the public. Councillor Hutchinson said, We're always keen to hear what people want us to be like, and if they have issues we can always look at those in turn. It appeared the press article was a PR exercise for the Parish Council. In 2007, Mr Pollard wrote to Councillor Isabel Hutchinson when she was Chairman of Holbridge Parish Council regarding the Crownfield Bank allotment boundary problem, but she did nothing. Councillor Hutchinson was to move on to become Chair of Parks. In 2009, there was a problem with the fence surrounding the hard tennis courts. The fence was removed and renewed in 2010. When this work was taking place, Councillor Hutchinson stated she did not want the same situation with the grass tennis courts and drew up proposals to remove the fence. But several people had been using the old grass tennis courts to exercise their dogs and a petition was presented to the parish council by people wishing for it to be kept for that use. The council decided to keep the old grass tennis courts for dog training usage with a vote of eight votes to seven. Councillor Hutchinson was subsequently to resign as Chair of Parks and not stand for re-election to the Council in the elections of May 2011. In the local press on July the 17th, Parish Council hires private investigators. Mystery surrounds a decision by Holbridge Parish Council to pay out almost £1,200 on a firm of private investigators. The revelation emerged at a meeting last week where members were asked why £1,185 was paid to Nottingham-based Moorcliffe Securities. Holbridge resident Paul Pohl posed the question during the meeting's public forum after spotting the entry on the council's 2011-12 accounts. Mr Pohl added that he was not satisfied with the council's response 
that it was looking into the matter and called on members to come clean about what the payment relates to. He said, it's ongoing and we'll have a proper answer out of them sooner or later, but the sooner the better. This council has to come clean about a lot of its actions and why it is withholding information that we as the public are entitled to know. Council Chairman Peter Savory said, I can't shed any light on it because I don't know the answer yet. It's something that was picked up while the council was being audited and we're looking into it. It takes time to look into things like this and it's very hard to speculate. It could be part of something else that we've agreed but I don't think it's anything to do with our present councillors. Our first priority is to answer the auditors but until we've got all the answers I can't say anything. Hopefully we'll have an answer in due course and if it's something we're able to make public we'll do it. The following week in the press Parish Council offices may have been bugged. Private meeting details leaked to the public. Holbridge Parish Council is to look into whether it paid almost £1,200 to a firm of private investigators to check if its offices were bugged. The article continued the Council's Finance Committee will meet on the 6th of August and that the Finance Committee investigation will be led by Chairman of Finance Paul Brighton. Council Chairman and Finance Committee member Peter Savory said legal advice could be taken during the investigation to find out how such a payment could have been authorised and to prevent it happening again. He said we have a new Finance Committee which is investigating the whole thing and it takes time. We have certain suggestions and bits of the jigsaw but we've not been able to put them all together yet there's a link between a few small things which we'll have to look into a bit more and we hope to have an idea about which direction to go in by the time of our next council meeting on August the 13th but it's got to be fully checked out and we'll have to take legal advice before we say anything it has been suggested that suspicions about the council offices being bugged led to an attempt to try and find out whether someone had done so but Councillor Savory was unable to confirm or deny whether this was the case. He said, it's very hard to speculate until we have some concrete facts, but I'm very concerned about the situation and I'm not going to let it rest. Hopefully we'll know soon what happened and see that it never happens again. Meanwhile, the council's internal auditor has confirmed to the free press that he raised a question about the payment to Morecliffe Securities and that the matter was still open. Internal Auditor Godfrey Park said, When I asked the council clerk what the payment was all about, I got an answer, and the background as to why it was done. But I wouldn't say the matter has been put to bed, and it's still being looked at. In the June minutes, Internal Audit. The Chairman advised the Internal Audit Report for 2011-12 had been submitted to the Parish Council. He reported on some of the recommendations, the minute of 12 December 2011, whereby the council resolved that a limit of £5,000 was placed on members to whom delegated powers were given to act be retracted. A finance committee should be reinstated. It was agreed to adopt the internal audit report. The chairman then advised further recommendations, referring to staffing matters and it was resolved to take these in committee. The June meeting had also seen mentioned an untidy allotment at number 25 Northern's Lane. The minutes for the July meeting, a complaint regarding weeds at Northern's Lane, noting that they had been sprayed three weeks prior. The minutes were signed as an accurate record at the council meeting of the 13th of August. On the 14th of August, the Northern's Lane allotments were visited on the plot that was supposedly sprayed, the weeds were growing well. A few days later, the signed minutes arrived at Holbridge Library, and two days after that, it was noted that the plot was now rotivated. 